Deaf Victoria endeavours to empower deaf and hard of hearing people by strengthening their ability to advocate for their access needs. We received NDIS funding under the ILC program to provide self-advocacy capacity building for deaf and hard of hearing people. We understand the barriers that you experience in your life and through community consultation have developed a toolkit to assist you in overcoming these barriers. The self-advocacy toolkit is available online and in printed format and has been developed to give you the information you need to advocate for better access by understanding your rights. This video will outline three of the tools in the toolkit and how to use them. The first provides information about Auslan interpreter provision within hospitals and emergency services, which is an area of concern for many deaf and hard of hearing individuals. As public hospitals are a government funded service, it is the responsibility of the hospital to provide Auslan interpreters. However, for private hospital appointments, you will need to arrange your own interpreter using your NDIS funding or for over 65s via your My Aged Care plan. Picture yourself at the emergency department at a public hospital. Amidst the stress, you were requesting that reception staff arrange for an Auslan interpreter. However, you were told that an interpreter cannot be booked and that you will need to communicate via paper and pen. You are now able to refer reception staff to the My Rights section of the toolkit, which outlines your access rights and prompt hospital staff to make the necessary arrangements. If a public hospital does not provide an Auslan interpreter, you can now download a letter of complaint template from the Deaf Victoria website. As private hospitals are not government owned, they are not responsible for the provision of Auslan interpreters. However, they do have an obligation to ensure that you understand your care. For these appointments, you will be required to arrange your own interpreter using your NDIS funding or for over 65s via your My Aged Care plan using your preferred interpreter or interpreter booking agency. In all healthcare settings, private or public, you have the right to feel safe and informed. You have the right to fully understand information about your healthcare. The second resource in the toolkit will assist in navigating the NDIS. Like any large government program, the NDIS can be confusing and changes to the system can make navigation difficult. We developed this clear infographic to guide you on how to request a review meeting within the first three months of receiving your plan if you were not happy with the supports that you have received and included information on who to contact to arrange for this review. The resource will direct you depending on whether or not you have had your first meeting after receiving your plan, then whether you have requested a plan review and then if you are happy with the decision made. If you are not happy with the decision, you can apply for an external review to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal and if you are not satisfied with your interaction with the NDIA, there is also information about where you can file a complaint. The third document in the toolkit will be a valuable resource that provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to best advocate around other issues you may face. When advocating, it is important to stay calm, outline the barrier you face and remind the listener of your rights. This could be used if a parent of a deaf child is contacting their child's school about arranging an interpreter during the remote learning period. Referring to the guide, you will be able to stay calm, assertive, and know what reasonable adjustments your child is entitled to and what laws or standards apply. We hope that you will find the self-advocacy toolkit useful and remember to contact Deaf Victoria for more details, access other resources, or for one-on-one -on -one support on how to advocate for your rights.